Hello everybody, just a quick video here explaining how you can set up multiplayer uh, for air racing if you are on the Steam platform. Just want to quickly preface this video by saying that setup is really simple, really quick, even if it may seem a bit complicated at first. But once you've done all the setup, getting into multiplayer games from that point onwards is super easy. And if you are interested in racing with other players, either casually or very competitively, then make sure you stop by the Airways Discord. Always welcome new people into the scene and look forward to racing with new players. Anyway, on to the video. Okay, so head over to backersmod.com, click the download button. Okay, so with Backers Mod installed, go ahead in game and press F2 to open up this menu. Then we are going to click Plugins, Plugin Manager, Open Plugin Manager. And up here, we're going to type number 26, click Install by ID. And that will install the Rocket plugin for you here. All you need to do is go ahead and tick that box. Um, whilst we are here, there is another plugin that you will need for multiplayer airways um, for the new game mode that is coming out, and that is the Netcode plugin here. So you can go ahead and install that now by typing 166 install by ID and then clicking that box there. To get the map on Steam, all you need to do is subscribe to it in the workshop. So come up here in your Steam app to community workshop then up here we can type rocket league and then here we can search airways press enter the map is here click on that and then simply click subscribe on this button here and that is all the setup you need for this one Unfortunately, there is no official multiplayer workshop support in-game at the moment, so to connect with other players or the host of a lobby, we use two programs, Grabmin VPN and Logmein Hamachi, and this allows us to connect to other players via IP address, but don't worry, your actual IP address will never be on display for other players. Um, the only difference between these two programs really is that there is a five player per network limit with Hamachi But if you do have more than five players, you can create additional networks. So you don't really need to worry about that um, In the competitive air racing scene, for example during tournaments We run both of these VPNs side by side to allow players to pick whichever one they want Just in case you are having connectivity issues with one or the other so if you are looking to start playing uh, air racing competitively, then please download and install both of these. Um, if you are looking to just play casually with friends, then you can get either one. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, the links are in the description for both of these programs. So go ahead and download one or both of these. So with Ragmin and Hamachi both installed, this is what they look like. The first thing you should really do with both of these is change your display name to match your in-game name so that people know who you are. So with Radmin, all you need to do with that is right click around your name and press the change name button. And with Hamachi, you will go to system, preferences, and you can see your name here and you can change it right there. Moving on to joining a multiplayer lobby, the first thing you need to do is be in a VPN with the host of the lobby. In this particular example, we are going to use Hamachi, but the instructions are pretty much the same in Radmin if you go in with that one. So we're going to click join an existing lobby. We're going to put in the details that the host of the lobby has given us. We're going to click join. There is the host. So we're going to right click his name, click copy IPv4 address. Then in game, we're going to press the home key on our keyboard. We're going to paste the IP in here and we are just going to click the join button. And there we go, in-game and ready to go. Okay, so moving on to hosting a lobby, pretty much the same as before. Make sure that you are in a shared VPN with the other players. They can get your IPv4 address the same way by right-clicking your name and clicking copy, or you can give it to them manually. You can see it here. Um, in-game, we're going to be pressing the home key again. 
and we're now going to be using all of this information here on the left side so click enable workshop maps click here start typing panic and you can see it come up there panic airway speech put this up to eight players and the mutators we use in air racing are unlimited time max score one goal uh, this is just so that if you like you can add a goal via match admin to end the game and save a replay or something like that uh, boost amount unlimited demolish disabled and then click the host button now all we need to do is wait for other players to join the game 